Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And uh, one of the things I hear often about SDRs is why it is so appealing. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, I'd rather have my desktop computer, or I'd rather use my portable. I don't see what an SDR can bring more to my hobby. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, not understanding a lot of what an SDR is all about. It is true that some people don't like using computers, and that is fine. I mean, it's 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 an okay excuse to say, you know, I don't want to use an SDR. I'm not good at computers, and I'm not, you know, I don't feel like getting two, three, four hours in front of a screen, and that's okay. Um, it's you know, an SDR is not here to replace anything else in the hobby, but it's a different way of actually doing radio. And one of the things first that a lot of people think is that, well, you know, you have to be connected to the internet. You don't. This, if I disconnect from the internet on my PC, is very simple. I still do SDR. It's a radio. It's a radio. It's just that the radio is a little black box. What the computer does is give me control over that radio. So think of the knobs on that desktop radio or on your portable radio. It's the computer screen with the things that I can click and turn on or off and change. The uh, biggest appeal, and I would say that, you know, if that was not the case, I might not be, uh, or I would not be using an SDR probably, uh, has to do with mostly the amount of information you get on a screen with an SDR. You are able to see in real time what's happening around the frequency you're listening to. So for example, I'm listening to Cuba here that is centered on 6,000 kilohertz, but I can see that here above on 64, 64, 25, and so on, there are some signals. There's something here that I could see. You could see the peaks, you could see it in the waterfall. One of the interesting things, what you just heard, that little tweep, you see it on the waterfall. You see it racing across, actually. We can even follow it if I want. I can go to 7,000 kilohertz, and I bet you that in not very long, we're going to see it appear and continue on the screen, uh, which is what we call an Iona sound, which is a, um, a, um, you know, a kind of a radar, if you want, that looks at the propagation. And see here, I see it on the the, bot, the top part here, 9 megahertz. Let's jump even further ahead. I don't know if we're going to see it at 10 megahertz. So here's WWV, and we'll see if we can still see that. Yes, here it is. You can see the Iona sound going. It is getting very weak. It kind of disappeared here. So it shows you that you know propagation with that was uh, kind of stopped there around 9 megahertz 9.9700 so you, you see this these are things that i would not at all notice if i'd be using a regular radio i would not know and would not see that that sweep or that tweet signal the iona sound is actually racing across the spectrum the visual aspect of the radio gives me that information and of course as you're listening in you can look at you know parts of the spectrum and there's nothing special happening and say, oh, look, look here, there was a transmission. I can go and I can click. And then I can go here and say, oh, okay, this is something here. So this is, of course, 5616, which is aer aeronautical communications. So there's an aspect of the use of an SDR, which is amazing, and it's the visual aspect of seeing a whole bunch of the spectrum at the same time and being able to actually see in there signals appear and disappear that I would never have noticed with a regular analog radio because it tunes only one frequency at a time. Where here I see all of that at the same time. And the big screen that I use makes it even more interesting because I can see a lot more of the spectrum and it is super interesting. So here I can see, for example, from 5,000 all the way up to 7,000 in this case and see all the signals in between, the interference and so on. So there's absolutely 
um, a appeal to use an SDR to visualize the signals and see what is in different ranges and what you know you might have missed that is what makes me use my sdr way more than anything else when i'm at home um the fact that you know i can see things that i would never have noticed are on the air so i'm going to do a few videos talking about this tonight and talking about different aspects of sdrs hope you're going to enjoy if you do please subscribe give us thumbs up